Do you believe that while we sleep, our subconscious minds continue to work on problems our conscious minds have failed to solve? Humans are mysterious, and what we intend to do is even more mysterious. This behavior of ours led to the world we are today. Most people who have struggled with a crossword clue know that sometimes they have found the answer easily after sleeping on the problem interestingly. So here are some of the greatest examples of scientific discoveries made while sleeping. Let's see. Discovery of the Periodic Table With his long hair, his beard, and his passion for chemistry, Dmitry Mendeleev was a charismatic professor. He had his beard cut once a year. Dmitry Mendeleev was obsessed with finding a logical way to organize the chemical elements. It had been preying on his mind for months. In 1869, he wrote the elements' names on cards, one element on each card. He then wrote the properties of every element on its own card. He saw that atomic weight was important in some way, but he could not find a pattern. Convinced that he was close to discovering something significant, Mendeleev moved the cards around for many hours until he finally fell asleep at his desk. When he awoke, he found that his subconscious mind had done his work for him. A logical arrangement of the elements had come to him. He later wrote, In a dream, I saw a table where all the elements fell into place as required. When I woke up, I immediately wrote it down on a piece of paper. What do you think? Is this possible? Discovery of Evolution by Natural Selection The discovery of evolution by natural selection proposed by Charles Darwin and Alfred Russell Wallace is considered one of the most important scientific discoveries in history. Through years of observation and research, culminating in the publication of Darwin's On the Origin of Species in 1859, the theory proposed the species evolve over time through the process of natural selection, where the fittest individuals are more likely to survive and reproduce. This theory revolutionized the field of biology and can continues to shape our understanding of the natural world. However, when Alfred Russell Wallace traveled in Brazil and Southeast Asia recording species, trying to understand the differences he saw when species were separated by geographical barriers. For years, he asked how new species could arise, but could find no answer. In 1858, he had an extreme dream, in the shape of hallucinations caused by a tropical fever. When the fever had gone, he found that the theory of evolution by natural selection had come to him in general. Discovery of the Structure of Benzene and Aromatic Chemistry August Kekule had been worrying about how the atoms in benzene are arranged. It was a tough problem because the ratio of carbon and hydrogen atoms was unlike that seen in other hydrocarbon compounds. On a cold night in 1865, he worked on the problem in his room. Unable to find a solution, he turned his chair to the fire and dozed. He began dreaming of atoms dancing. Gradually, the atoms arranged themselves into the shape of a snake. Then the snake turned around and bit its own tail. The image of the snake, tail in its mouth continued to dance before his eyes. When Kekule awoke, he realized what the dream had been telling him. Benzene molecules are made up of rings of carbon atoms. Understanding these aromatic rings opened up an enormously important new field of chemistry, aromatic chemistry, and a new understanding of chemical bonding. Thousands of New Mathematical Ideas Srinivasa Ramanuan had negligible formal training in mathematics. He died tragically young, age 32. In his short lifetime, he produced almost 4,000 proofs, identities, conjectures, and equations in pure mathematics. Although he died in 1920, the richness of his ideas and conjectures in fields such as elliptic functions and number theory, nearly all of which were correct and were ahead of this time, and continued to inspire and direct research carried out by mathematicians today. The Cambridge University mathematician Godfrey H. Hardy, who worked with Ramanuan, expressed the thought that if mathematicians were rated on the basis of pure talent on a scale of 0 to 100. He himself would be worthy of 25. J. E. Littlewood, 30, David Hilbert, 80, and Sirinvasa Ramanuhuan, 100. Ramanuhuan said that Hindu goddess Namagiri, who would appear in his dream, showing him mathematical proofs, which he would write down when he awoke. He described one of his dreams as, While asleep, I had an unusual experience. There was a red screen formed by flowing blood, as it were. I was observing it. Suddenly, a hand began to write on the screen. I became all attention. That hand wrote a number of elliptical integrals. They stuck in my mind. As soon as I woke up, I committed them to writing. Discovery of the Scientific Method 
Rene Descartes built much of the framework of the modern scientific method. He wrote down this framework in his work, Discourse on Method. The scientific method, which is a systematic approach to acquiring knowledge, was not discovered by Rene Descartes. The scientific method has evolved over centuries through the contributions of many scientists, philosophers, and thinkers. Descartes is, however, credited with introducing the idea of systematic doubt, which is a key component of the scientific method in his work Mediations on First Philosophy, 1641. He proposed that in order to gain knowledge, one must doubt all preconceptions and arrive at a certain knowledge through reason and observation. This idea laid the foundation for the scientific method, which is used today in the natural and social sciences to test hypotheses and gain knowledge. One of his main lines of thought was skepticism, that everything should be doubted until it could be proved. He gave us four main ideas and principles for scientific progress. Descartes wrote that the basis of the scientific method came to him in dreams he had on November 10, 1619. Proof that our nerves transmit signals chemically In 1903, Otto Loewy had the thought that nerve signals were possibly transmitted using chemical instructions. He could not think of how he could prove this new idea. In 1920, Loewy had a dream about the problem. He woke excitedly during the night and scribbled notes about the dream. In the morning, he could not remember the dream, and he could not read his nocturnal notes either. The following night, he dreamed about the problem again. The dream was about an experiment he could use to prove his idea. And this next time, he remembered it. He carried out research based on this dream and published the work in 1921, establishing that signaling across synapses was indeed chemical, as he had suspected. It's ironic that it took 17 years for subconscious thoughts to come to the surface in the man often called the father of neuroscience. Ironic or not, in 1936, the great man was awarded the Nobel Prize in medicine for work that came to him in a dream. The Fossil Fish Luis Agassiz was the world's foremost expert on fish species, both current and extinct. He had been trying to understand the structure of a fossil fish for two weeks, but could make no progress. Agassiz's wife wrote about how the solution came to him in the form of dreams over three nights. He had been striving for two weeks to decipher the somewhat obscure impression of a fossil fish on the stone slab in which it was preserved. Weary and perplexed, he put his work aside at last and tried to dismiss it from his mind. Shortly after, he woke one night convinced that while asleep, he had seen his fish with all the missing features perfectly restored. But when he tried to hold and make fast the image, it escaped him. Nonetheless, he went early to work, thinking that on the looking anew at the impression, he should see something which would put him on the track of his vision. In vain, the blurred record was as blank as ever. The next night, he saw the fish again, but with no more satisfactory result. When he awoke, it disappeared from his memory as before. Hoping that the same experience might be repeated, on the third night he placed a pencil and paper beside his bed before going to sleep. Towards morning, the fish reappeared in his dream, confusedly at first, but at last with such distinctness, that he had no longer any doubt as its zoological characteristics. Still half-dreaming in perfect darkness, he traced these characters on the sheet of paper at the bedside. In the morning, he was surprised to see in his nocturnal sketch features which he thought impossible the fossil itself should reveal. He hastened to work and, with his drawing as a guide, succeeded in cutting away the surface of the stone under which portions of the fish proved to be hidden. When wholly exposed, it corresponded with his dream and his drawing, and he succeeded in classifying it with ease. Well, the subconscious mind is very powerful, provided the consciousness mind absorbs plenty of data while awake. The subconscious mind can process and make sense of the data while asleep. Some of the greatest scientific discoveries in history are testament to the importance of sleep and dreams in the operation of our minds. So you can give the chance to your subconscious mind sometimes. No wonders that can be on the line of our life problems. What do you think about it? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you're going to love to watch our video about advanced ancient technologies that we still can't reproduce today. Make sure to subscribe to us and never miss amazing videos like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay tuned.